Well, I'd like to welcome from uh, Third Mutual today, Annie McCary. She is the first vice president, and today we're talking about the Streetlight Project. And good to see you. Thank Always you. nice to Thank see you. you. Good to be here. Thank yeah. You. And um, this is a project that has been going on for quite a while. So I guess we're going to find out what phase that we're in right now, right? Yes, and it has been going on for a while, but this is a new pilot. So the old pilot that was going on some time back, um, we're moving into a new pilot phase right okay. now. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have a photo of a couple of the street lights, and um, let me ask you, what's the difference between this pilot and the one that was done, what, about a year ago? About a year or so yeah. ago. Are they different lights now? Different lights now and more of a variety of lights now. Okay. The last pilot project, I think there may have been maybe four lights. And this time, there's more of a variety of lights. And then there's a longer, um, there are more street lights available more on the signs. OK. Yeah, more All available. Right. So we see in this picture here you know, a couple different uh, styles of lights. And obviously, we have the median lights. and. Then we have um, more of what I would call the street or sidewalk lights, the yes. perimeter lights, I yes. guess. Uh -huh. Yes, and, um, and actually I went, because the pilot uh, timeline started um, after dark November 21st. Okay. And so what I actually did was I drove around to look at the different mm -hmm. ones, and because it's such a variety, I, just, I found out that I needed to drive around more than one time mm -hmm. just to get an idea of which one of the lights okay. that I like better. All right, so uh, the testing period is going to be going on for the next uh, couple weeks, it looks like. Yes, through Monday, December 2nd. Okay, yes. and then the locations, this is important for people that uh, want to give some input. Exactly. Uh, locations um, inside a gate seven is uh, one of the areas, and on the next slide it shows the location, so that is uh, four locations, it looks like. Yes. Now, on these, um, uh, do these all have slightly different kind of lights on them? They do. They okay. have a slightly different kind of lighting, um, different intensity of lighting, okay. and different uh, lighting structures. I, I right. guess that's a, a way of putting it. Yeah. yeah. Now, they're all LED. They're all some LED, sort. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. That's good because that's, uh, you know, man, the energy that that yeah. saves is just yeah, tremendous. And, yes, and we can see the, the, the lighting once you come into gate seven on those street, okay. um, street names there. And they're listed on the street poles. Oh, they are? Yeah. And, um, and that's why I said when I went, I took a notebook with me because they're labeled on the poles 1A, okay. 1B, 1C, 1D, 2A, 2B. Okay and so forth, all the way down to 4A, 4B, 4C, and 4D. So this way, if people see a light they like, don't like, whatever, uh, instead of just saying, OK, you know that light that's on the corner there? It's better if you could give an actual number, because that way it's going to help everyone out. Exactly. Yeah. And what, what my experience was, I had to go back and say, well, what do I like about 1A? Is it too bright, too dark? And then what's the difference between 1A and 1B, and mm -hmm. how can I tell it? So for me, it's going to take another, maybe a couple of uh, drive throughs just to be clear on what it is that I like about these okay. particular lightings. All right. Now, uh, here's the energy cost saving that um, uh, what the potential is over the, uh, the time that once these all get in. And, um, you know, it's quite significant. Absolutely. The mutual stands to realize energy cost savings ranging from 17% to 55% over life of the recommended uh, fixture mix. Mm -hmm. And the savings results of converting the existing inefficient high power sodium fixtures to high efficiency LED technology. Yeah. yeah. And quite, quite a difference. And mm -hmm. the savings is just going to be. Absolutely. Tremendous, as we all know, as we know here in the studio. Yes. You know, one of these lights that we have in the studio now, one of these panel lights, uh, or I, actually I could say all of our lights that we have in the studio right now probably take the energy of maybe one or two of what we used to have. Wow. So it's quite significant. It is yeah. quite significant. And plus it's a lot cooler, yeah, <laughs> which is nice. All right, so um, the next slide is going to show uh, tell people this is how you can contact um, if you have questions about that or in writing, whatever you'd like to do. Absolutely. And there are a couple of options. You can email it at info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. 
Uh, or you can write it, write your comments on a piece of paper and just deliver it to the concierge in mm -hmm. the community center. Yeah. We need that by 5 p.m. on Monday, December 2nd. Okay, so please do that because that way they, you know, they want to be able to move along on this project. And the test period, um, special MNC meeting is going to be happening Wednesday, December 11th, so I would assume this is the time that maybe the findings are presented. Exactly. Right? After the period is over, the first meeting, like you said, at the maintenance and construction yeah. meeting. Um, okay. And that's Wednesday, as you said, December 11th at the community center. And do you anticipate by then or by the end of the meeting that you'll have your choices made or that's more of like, let's get everybody to talk about it. It's more about, about uh, getting people to talk about it, but oh, okay. also decision out now, the decision. It. It's on the next one. <laughs> yes, at the regular third board meeting, we will talk about the decision and the outcome. And that's going to be on Thursday, December 7th at the community center, 9.30 a.m. Okay. So I think that's um, certainly important for you folks who want to voice your opinions on this. This is a good opportunity for the whole community to take a look at these. Obviously, you're going to look at them at night uh -huh. and um, give your recommendations. And as Annie said, very important. Uh, I know, you, you know you're going to have to get out of your car and take a look unless the signs are really large on the lights. The signs are large okay. on the lights. They are large enough. Okay. Uh, it's just to get the full experience of it, you really do need to go after dark. Yes. And that way, get the numbers off those lights. If you have an opinion either way, because that's going to help them. If you just say, I like this particular light, they're going to go, well, yeah. you know, they can't quantify it. So, yeah. Yeah. And right. feedback is very, very important. We really strongly encourage residents to go out yes. and take a look at it and give yeah. us your feedback. Yeah, very good. All right, Annie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything else you want to add? Just a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. All right, you too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.